Here's a little trick right as we're getting started. Uh, if you look really closely, there's an asterisk right there. And if you look down in that tooltip that pops up, you can see it after the AI, the .ai in that white box. That means this is a file that has been changed since the last time it was saved. So if I hit Command S, that asterisk disappears and the file is saved. Now, quite often, I want to repurpose an existing file. So I'll do Save As, Shift Command S, File. After I save, make sure Save is grayed out. Then you Save As. So you can do something else with it. And I'm going to do Shift Command S, Shift Command S, because I use that all the time. And then here we have the name. And notice it's already highlighted. It's being saved back into the same place. Rather than using my cursor, I use the keyboard, hit the right arrow. Remember, the arrow keys are in between. You gamers know where this is. Uh, in between the, the alphanumeric keypad and the numeric keypad, right in the middle at the bottom uh, of those two are the arrows. And if I hit the right arrow, it jumps to the end. Then I can hit delete, type a two, and hit return because I'm saving this exactly where the other file is. This is working smart because it, and I hit return again because we're saving in that same workspace. So in a real speed, that goes a lot quicker. Okay. It literally goes like this. Boom, boom, boom. And then hit return twice. I'm going to hit escape because I don't want to save it another time. But once you learn what you're doing, this goes so quickly. Now, don't confuse what I just said with, with doing save as all the time. It's only when you're going to go in a different direction. And we had the Tools01 video, and I wanted the file associated with it. Now I got a two, Tools02 video, which I'm not going to use that file. I am going to use this one, but I want to do something different with it. So I want to duplicate this layer down here. You know, when you click on this, you create a new layer. If I drag this layer down here, not onto the trash can, onto this second little icon, see that plus sign? Boom. I get a copy of this, and I want to drag this up. See how that blue line gets there? Boom. I got that on the uppermost layer. I can hide this, and now I can select this and transform it. I'm going to hold down shift so I constrain proportions and I want to make this smaller and I want to rotate it and pull it up into position. Now let's come back. See, I still have, if I hide this, I still have my original art. I haven't destroyed anything. I'm preserving what I've done so far in order to try something new. Get it? Let's come back and learn how to create a reflection of this. Quite easy, actually, and quite useful.